Hey there guys, welcome to a video about a PS3 emulator. Y'all know this one, hopefully. If you don't, you've been living under a rock. And we're going to open it up, and we're going to run Alice Madness Returns. And the game boots in like so. But this is all we get, zero frames a second. Nothing initiates yet. It's got some to-do stuff, some static functions. Uh, there's all unimplemented stuff going on, so... Um, it happens, right? Anyway, we're going to stop that one. Okay? And we're going to boot up this one. Yeah, that one doesn't like... Um, Vulcan. So we actually have to go change the API real quick. Graphics, Vulcan to OpenGL, use legacy buffer, and boot. There we go. <sighs> now the LEs I'm using, the LLEs, are right here. As you can clearly see. Here's that Capcom logo we all love. And I'm just going to turn that all the way down. And hit X to continue. And this is where it usually freezes. Right about here. I think it froze. I can't be too sure. Yes, it froze. This is where it crashes. Right there. And uh, we're going to stop that. And we're going to quickly just boot this up. And this is literally as far as we can get with Ninja Gaiden Sigma. And as you can see, it freezes uh, the emulator. So let's open that back up. We're going to rename this Alice 1N. Alice 1N. Sorry, i got to keep the logs together. And we're going to try Star Ocean real quick. Yeah, that just crashes all together. Uh, am I missing anything? The PRX module. Let's go check out if that exists. PRX. Oh. Oh, no. What that would actually be. Well, I think, yeah, okay, that stopped at least. And so I'm going to try this, boot this. Yeah, it's a uh, access violation. Assassin's Creed. Another access violation. So I don't know. No, we can't get anywhere beyond that. So these two work, and the rest of these do not. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I can download more games in a couple minutes and continue making games and stuff. See ya.